Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Nate with American Wilderness, and today I'm going to be reviewing my binoculars. These are Bushnell H2O Poro Prism binoculars, 10 by 42s really great pair, and I'm going to review them today, uh, talk a little bit about how I use them, the best way to use them, and really the best features of the binoculars, why I got them, and why I, I kept them. Okay, so here you can see these binoculars. These are Poro Prisms. Uh, this binocular in particular comes in roof prism as well. I didn't get the roof prism, not only because I don't really like the design as much, and I don't really mind that roof prisms are a little more compact, um, but they're actually cheaper to get Poro Prisms um, because they're an older design. Um, and I just like how they look. Uh, you can definitely look into the roof prism version or uh, look at other binoculars that are roof prisms. Some are really, really good. It is more of a modern design, um, but I like uh, these four prisms. And thus far, they haven't given me any problem with focus or anything like that. I do want to talk about the focus knob a little bit. So uh, take a look at this. It does go up to 10 times zoom. Um, you don't, you can't change the zoom on here, but you do change the focus. Um, this is just the mechanism that moves it. Um, one issue with the focus knob is it's it's rubber coated, um, like the whole binocular is. But uh, actually, if you can see here the rubber is sort of chipping off because it's hitting the main frame of the binocular um, a little bit when it uh, when you use the focus knob and that's no good um, this is probably going to wear down over time and not going to have the grip on here so um, that's definitely a negative a con to this uh, particular binocular but that's really one of the few flaws that i've found thus far um, after a while this will look better just because it gets worn down and um, it won't look like it's just chipping off right there, but uh, that's that's an issue. I don't know if it happens with every single binocular. Maybe there's something wrong with mine. Um, it's not too much of a problem. I don't really think it's that much of an issue, but uh, that's just something. Also, you can see here, these are the twist up eye cups. So this is for comfort because a lot of people don't like to have the, um, the lens right there as close to your eye as possible. Um, so even though when you twist these up and you use them, um, it will give you less of a field of view. Um, it doesn't matter sometimes because you'll be focusing in on something and you don't need such a wide angle. But for a place that I'm right here, Devil's Lake State Park in Wisconsin, uh, it's definitely to your advantage to use as wide a field of view as you possibly can. And here you can just see the action of the, you know, depending on how wide set your eyes are, um, makes it really easy and it's really sturdy still. Um, I, I find the weight, um, I forgot exactly what the weight is, I'll put all the specs in the description in case you guys want to check that out. Um, I do like a heavier binocular, a lot of people want a more compact one and that's another reason you might want to go with the roof prism version. Um, because it is smaller, it is lighter, it's more compact, but I, I, I like having a nice solid binocular. Uh, something else I want to talk about briefly is this Bushnell um, binocular harness, if you want to see the back of this. Um, this particular binocular came with a, uh, a neck strap. Um, a lot of people will just use the neck strap they get or get a more uh, comfortable one. Uh, but I like using this harness because it takes a lot of the weight right off your neck. Um, it's elastic and it keeps the binocular from bouncing around too much. So it's actually way more comfortable. Uh, you do have to get it separate. It doesn't come with this binocular. But you can get it on Amazon or any um, optics or scope website. Um, it doesn't have to be Bushnell. It doesn't have to go with this because here it's just you sort of tie this, um, this rope around and uh, yeah, it's fully adjustable. So that's something I do recommend if you're going to be using your binocular or scope or whatever. Um, for a long period of time and I hope I'm going to be able to keep this binocular for a long time because it does seem really durable. And I'm going to talk about one more aspect of this binocular before I give my final opinion and that's the fact that it's waterproof and fog proof. Um, I've used it in the rain. Uh, I was up at Nacida National Wildlife Refuge a couple weeks ago. It was raining the entire time but I definitely needed these and both features, the uh, waterproof and fog proof um, aspects of this binocular were really useful because you don't want to take your really nice pair of binoculars out in the rain and then have them ruined. I don't know how other um, non-waterproof binoculars uh, do under rain conditions, but if you were to drop it in the water, this one would definitely hold up. Other ones would probably break. And the fog proof is really useful maybe if you're in a really high humidity area and you're trying to actually see something. Um, but uh, I don't know if I mentioned the focus gets crystal clear. I've never had a 10 times binocular before. I've only had four times and eight times. 
you can definitely tell the difference. You can definitely tell this is a good modern binocular, as clear as as you could really want. Um, I'm sure there are better models out there, more expensive, but if it, it this is under a hundred dollars to get a pair like this. So I definitely, definitely recommend it. Again, really the only con was how the rubber sort of uh, scuffed off there. Other than that, I've had no issues. I will hopefully keep this, cherish it for many years to come. And if you're looking into binoculars, uh, I would definitely consider uh, not only this binocular in particular, the Bushnell H2Os, but I would say look at Bushnell. They have a great legacy. I've had Bushnell binoculars before and they're still great even if they had a small uh, folding um, roof prism model. But absolutely recommended. Um, if you have any questions about this binocular pair or uh, any binoculars or scopes in general, make sure to leave it in the comments section below. I'll be happy to help you guys out. Um, anything bird related or just looking out at great vistas like this, I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Again, any questions, comments, concerns with the way I presented this video, goes in the comments section below. Please, thanks for watching again. I'm Nate from American Wilderness. See you guys later.